For years, people have been fascinated by the unknown, with some even coming forward in detailing their own personal experiences. One thing that's been made obvious over the years, though, is that officials are starting to be more open about these kinds of topics, whereas rewind a few decades ago and many of these claims would have been laughed off. One agency that's been particularly critical of these types of stories is that of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, who have detailed that out of the tens of thousands of images that they've taken, and that out of all their missions, never once have they found something that would indicate intelligent life. With recent announcements though, it's come to the attention of many that it's not just everyday people who have been seeing these mysterious objects in our sky. In fact, for decades now, high up officials, including Navy pilots, Army officials and even government officials, have detailed their encounter with mysterious crafts, that's easily able to outmaneuver their jets, can disappear from radar, and even seem to interact with their equipment, and in some cases have even managed to shut them down. Sadly, in the past, pilots and other officials lost their jobs when they talked about this topic, but now there seems to have been a shift. People are openly talking about this topic, and although many haven't got the answers they wanted, they have said that we're making a step in the right direction. As mentioned, NASA have always stayed relatively quiet on the subject, and when asked about it, they've always denied that they found anything of interest. Some people dispute these claims though, as some of their images appear to show mysterious objects. Recently, CNN Business did an interview with Bill Nelson, an American politician and NASA payload specialist, who is now the 14th administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. One of the questions they asked him was the following. Americans have long been fascinated by UFOs, and the public has seen the videos that our Navy pilots have taken, and they've heard their accounts. Do you think that we've been contacted by extraterrestrials? To which Bill responded with the following. Well, I have talked to those Navy pilots, and they are sure that they saw something, and of course we've seen their video from their jet. What is it? We don't know. So now that I'm here at NASA, I've turned to our scientists, and I've said, would you look at it from a scientific standpoint? See if you can determine what it is so we have a better idea. We don't know if it's an enemy. We don't know if it's an optical phenomenon. We don't think it's an optical phenomenon because of the characteristics that those Navy pilots described. The next question was the following. The Pentagon will soon release its report on UFOs. What has NASA been briefed about in terms of this report? Have you been involved in any way? And do you think that NASA should be more involved? To which Bill responded, I was actually briefed on this a couple of years ago, in my capacity on the Senate Armed Services Committee. NASA is going to look at it through the lens of its scientists. We are involved in this research and I've started. I've been here a month and I've started. We are not directly working with the Pentagon, but I can guarantee you if we find something the Pentagon will know. As of right now though, early leaks of the files have stated that the US found no evidence of alien tech, but did explain that they can't rule out exotic phenomena, to which people responded that it's not very clear what they're saying. Many amateur researchers have spent years looking at this topic, and have said that NASA likely won't admit that these crafts are anything of interest. Although amateur researchers have congratulated the agency on some of their discoveries, when it comes to UFOs and related topics, they are known to shut down claims immediately. Interestingly, NASA scientists have said there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. There's hundreds of millions of galaxies, all teeming with millions or billions of planets. This makes the likelihood of there being life in our universe very high. This is why NASA and other space agencies are now making it their goal to visit various systems. This photograph has been shared around a lot on social media, and those who've tried to find the origin of the photo have said it was taken during the Space Transportation System 1. The STS-1 was part of NASA's Space Shuttle program. As stated on their website, on the morning of April 12, 1981, 
to astronauts that strapped into their seats on the flight deck of Columbia, a radically new spacecraft known as the Space Shuttle. John Young, the commander, had already flown in space four times, including a walk on the moon in 1972. Bob Crippen, the pilot, was a Navy test pilot who had gone to command three future shuttle missions, but nothing either man had done or would do was quite like this. Some have suggested that the image in question shows the mysterious Blacklight satellite. Those who have studied it have said the satellite is the oldest one currently orbiting our planet. It's considered by some to be an ancient object that's been transmitting signals for thousands of years. This mysterious signal has been featured in the media since the 1950s, and it's become one of the most talked about objects in space. Some have even said the satellite was placed there in order to spy on the human race. One of the first people to allegedly pick up on the object was that of Nikola Tesla, a Serbian-American inventor who would change the world we live in. Those who have been looking for signs of extraterrestrial life have said this satellite is one of the best pieces of evidence we have. As some have pointed out though, one of the issues nowadays when it comes to UFOs is that there's so many good fakes out there, and this makes it difficult to find genuine ones. It's also important to note that researchers and scientists have said the Black Knight satellite is not real, and that what people are seeing is just space debris. So what do you make of this recent announcement by NASA's new administrator? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.